Aries kids, welcome to September. A new month means a new theme. And this month, our theme is block party. What's a block party? It's a party for the whole neighborhood where everyone's invited. And that's because we're celebrating something super special this month, friendship. Friendship is using your words and actions to show others you care. Everyone wants to be a good friend, but sometimes we might not be the best at showing it. Sometimes we might have to stop and think about putting others before ourselves. God can help us to be good friends to others and to help us choose to have others around us who help us grow closer to Him. He made us to have good relationships with others. It's really important to be a good friend and to surround ourselves with others who point us in the right direction. There are some verses in the Bible that show us how important friendship is, and we can find them in the book of Ecclesiastes. A lot of people believe that Ecclesiastes was written by Solomon, who was king over Israel. Solomon was actually King David's son, and when Solomon became king, God gave him the option to offer him a choice of whatever he wanted. But he didn't ask for a million chicken nuggets, or for the latest video game, or to be 10 feet tall. He asked for wisdom, because he knew that's what he needed to be a good king over God's people. God gave Solomon the wisdom, and Solomon is still known as one of the wisest people that ever lived. This is the New International Early Readers Version Bible, um, the one we use in Grace Kids, so we can look up the book of Ecclesiastes. And just like in Grace Kids, we go to the table of contents and see where it's found. We know Ecclesiastes is in the Old Testament. It's right after Proverbs. So then we look and see the page number, and then we can flip to the book of Ecclesiastes. So, why is friendship important? Well, friends get more done. As we read in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9, two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Have you ever tried to move something really heavy all by yourself, but you just couldn't do it? But then you asked a friend for help, and together you could lift it up easily? <laughs> or maybe you just don't know how to do a math problem. But you ask a friend, and they walk you through it step by step until you understand. And then you're equipped with the knowledge of how to do it on your next test. Having a friend makes it easier to get stuff done. That's not all they're good for. Friends help each other. We'll read in Ecclesiastes 4 verse 10. Suppose either of them falls down, then the one can help the other one up. But suppose a person falls down and doesn't have anyone to help them up, then feel sorry for that person. What have I got here? What do you think would happen if you played soccer with laces like these? You would probably trip and fall, and I bet you would want a friend there to help you get up. What if you were the one that saw a friend fall down? Would you just ignore them and leave them there? No, of course not. You would run over and help them get up. That's what friends do. Of course, that doesn't just happen when you're playing soccer. We all have chances to help our friends. If your friend is homesick from school, you could write a card for them, maybe tell them a joke, something to lift their spirits and help them out. Or you could even do something really nice like bake them cookies, healthy cookies, and drop them off on their porch. That would sure make me feel better. Let's see, what else do friends do? Friends stand up for each other. Let's re read from Ecclesiastes 4, verse 12. One person could be overpowered, but two people can stand up for themselves. You see, a good friend will always have your back, even when you feel like this. When a good friend is around, they can help you when you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed out so that you no longer feel that way. Your good friend comes over when you're feeling that way, and then you feel like this. You feel like you can take on anything. If you don't make that layup, a good friend will be there to catch your rebounds. Or if you're having an argument with someone, your friend will be there to help defend you. If you're having just a terrible day, your friend will be there to cheer you up. A good friend will always stand up for you. So what else can we find out about friendship in this passage of Ecclesiastes? If I finish verse 12, it goes like this. And a rope made out of three cords isn't easily broken. Hmm, but what does that mean? A rope made out of three cords? Well, rope is made out of strands that are tied tightly together. One strand on its own wouldn't be very strong. Two strands would be a bit stronger, but three strands? You guessed it, super strong. 
Friendship is like that too. We are much stronger together than we would be on our own. And you know what? A lot of people say that friendship between two people is even stronger when you also center that friendship on God. That's the third strand in the rope, making it super strong. Your friendship is strongest when it's between you, your friend, and God. Friends trust God together. The thing that can really make a friendship strong is when you and your friend trust in God together. You can remind each other who God is to you and that God is with you, that God loves you, and that you can stand up to any challenge with God by your side. You can pray with your friends and you can know that your friend is praying for you too. You can also pray together. There's no better friendship than one where both of you are following God. So it's super important for us to have strong friendships. Friends help get more done. Friends help each other. Friends stand up for each other. And friends trust God together. We should try to be friends with everyone. But when it comes to who we're closest with, who we spend the most time with, who we listen to the most, you need to ask yourself this question. Does this friend help me trust God? Because those are the kind of friends you need most of all. This week's bottom line is to choose your friends carefully. All right, that's all for today, friends. As always, tune in this Sunday to see this month's first curriculum video with the theme, Block Party, and learn more about what it means to be a good friend. Bye!